hasn't uh, made any progress. Yeah.
was kicking, and maybe because that's where her stomach is, so she's probably hitting that over and over again, and that's why she has a little bleeding here. So I'll make sure I get that to you. goes to the abdomen. So I'm, I'm assuming she must have clenched or caught a bit of her belly in there. And that's why you have a little Too long, then you get all weak and uh, debilitated. But her sisters, they, they went and they started the exact same time. They came to the same pen and all that. They're, they're doing fine. So I'm just going to, um, I gave you a long chance. When they're born, they do have a lot of swelling and edema, and they use up that water in the next few days. And uh, hopefully, they're going to be all right. But so, look, her head's out. trying to pet. She has time in the back to come up there, so. Pushing and pushing, that's all they know is how to push to get out. Push their way. Rascal. And I think we're keeping the name Rascal. Yeah, I was getting a little confused with changing the names of the other ones. But uh, I'll, we're keeping Popcorn and Sticky. But, uh, no, we want to <laughs> stop yet. So, popcorn, Iggy, and Squid. Squid is known. Squid does not have a tooth, guys. Like, it's not a
want some rest? This is betadine, it's an iodine solution. I'm putting it on her belly button. Why? Because I don't want her to get an infection. I'm probably going to do it again tomorrow. Well, here's the yolk sac. It looks like it's almost all absorbed. There's a little bit there, and so I really put a lot of betadine on it. I'll just hope it pulls it in. Got up, her feathers are all compact. She's all snappy.